Can you imagine if your hairstyle could put you in danger? Well, that's exactly what happens with the disease known as ringworm. Today, I'm going to explain what ringworm is, what causes it, and ways to prevent it. First of all, we must ask ourselves, what is ringworm? It is crucial to know what disease we are talking about. Ringworm, also known as tinea, is a skin rash caused by a fungal infection. But what does a fungal infection mean? It is usually an infection caused by a fungus and is quite common in areas such as nails, skin, feet, scalp, or even hair. Besides its unpleasant effect on the hair and scalp, ringworm can cause itching, staling or even hair loss in certain areas as the fungus tends to attack the outer layer of the scalp, creating these empty spaces. However, these are not the only symptoms we can find. It can also cause inflamed skin which leads to hair detachment. We may also notice that the hair becomes more fragile and weaker, making it fall out more easily, even by simply pulling it with our hands. It can also make the entire scalp area very sensitive to any element, so we recommend not touching it under any circumstances. Additionally, this type of infection is highly contagious, especially through direct contact. However, direct contact is not the only way to contract ringworm. I will tell you the most most common ways to contract it. Ringworm can be transmitted through person-to-person -person contact as I mentioned before through direct contact with infected individuals. But the truth is that animals can also transmit ringworms to us whether by petting or brushing them. Not only that but ringworm can also be found on objects or surfaces such as combs, towels, cloths and more. As we can see, it is a disease that requires careful attention to avoid contracting it, especially for children and animals who are more prone to such infections. It is advisable to keep a close watch on what your child does at school or in any case prevent your pet from coming into contact with other animals. Now how do I know if I have ringworms? It is an infection with characteristics that are quite common in other infections. So I will give you some tips to help you determine if you are suffering from this disease. It is important to examine your scalp as it may go through phase of inflammation or scaling, which can be a sign. It is also essential to thoroughly check your hair as you may have less hair in some areas compared to others, which can be an indicator. But most importantly, pay attention to your close circle of friends friends and family as well as hairdressers or stylists who treat your hairs. They may be suffering from a similar condition or know someone who has and they could be transmitting it to you. It is crucial to be cautious and be aware of who might be experiencing a similar illness as this could be a key factor. From here, we recommend that if you suspect you are experiencing a case of ringworm, ask your friends, close circle and family members if any of them are already going through this phase and may have transmitted it to you. This can help resolve many doubts. Now, when should you see a doctor? We recommend seeing a doctor as soon as you have the slightest idea that you may be experiencing a ringworm outbreak. This is because the condition can worsen. We know that the ringworm has worsened when we see severe inflammation on the scalp known as carrion. It causes an elevation of the scalp due to inflammation accompanied by a plus frail crust that tends to be very soft. It usually occurs exclusively on the scalp. Carrion can easily lead to hair loss, scarring or even permanent hair loss. Therefore, if you believe you are experiencing a ringworm outbreak or if it has worsened, we recommend seeing a doctor as soon as possible. Now, how can we treat a ringworm? The truth is that we can address it through oral or topical products. For example, we can use different types of creams to treat fungal infections that contain ketoconazole, oxycanazole, or other medications that can effectively treat this type of condition. These topical medications are usually the first line of treatment and if they are not able to eliminate the ringworm or if it is wide separate, then oral antifungal medications may be used as they tend to be more potent. Regarding the duration of the infection, it typically lasts between 2 and 4 weeks in mild cases. 
in severe cases it can last up to three months or even spread to other parts of the body such as nails feet or skin the most recent outbreak of ringworm in spain occurred in january 2023 it was a severe case that alarmed the entire country the outbreak was linked to hair salons and the tandy hairstyles among young people such as shaved or faded styles as we mentioned earlier ringworm can be transmitted from objects to people so it is suspected that poor hygiene in hair salon utensils caused this ringworm outbreak passing this disease from one person to another while it is true that we do not know if the problem started 100 percent in hair salons the public health services are investigating the matter although many people affected by ringworm have recovered there are still teenagers experiencing the condition today there are an increasing number of clinics that do not perform their job well leading to subpar treatment additionally information media or social networks may tend to highlight the negative aspects more than the positive ones which could make us believe that hair treatments are a scam therefore we recommend that if you are considering a hair transplant first gather information and make sure to choose a reputable clinic second if you are searching for information on these topics be cautious as the internet is vast and not all sources of information are reliable please share your experience in the comments if you have contracted ringworm or have been affected by the recent outbreak in spain how did you deal with it and were you able to resolve it your experience may help others and don't forget to support the channel by leaving your like subscribing or sharing the video on different social media platforms also let us know in the comment box what you thought of the video and suggest topics for future videos additionally in the description box below you will find two important pieces of information the first is the official blog where you can find any information you need about the world of hair. The second is the email address hola at the rate mycapple.com where you can send photos of your hair related process or evolution to be featured on the channel. We will analyze the different cases you send us. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.